You yeah, know, we'll just might they I, have on the offenses of again. Well, you got to go out there and execute against an excellent defense, top ranked defense in the league, and you know, hopefully that that they're, you know, anybody who plays for us is is doing their job and you know executing. And for our receivers, that's you know getting open and, and catching the ball when the quarterback throws it, and then you know being efficient in the run game and trying to trying to help our, our running backs. When they come out in four wide as an offense, what kind of whether it's Dalton Knox as the fourth wide receiver or whomever uh, Dawson Knox, what is that kind of that would be that would be eleven personnel, so okay, ten personnel, four wide receiver. Um, they run yeah, spread. Yeah. Well, I mean, they make you cover the entire field. Um, you know, RPO game, lateral, lateral passing game, and then they'll mix it up and you know run vertical stuff and. You know, usually some concept on one side that the quarterback can pick and then, you know, something on the other side. But, you know, it identifies the, the box and, you know, how many guys you got in there when they're in a spread. Some of the guys have said this week that a part of your message is don't look at the numbers. Is that the case and, and why? Well, you that? get, you know, I mean, you kind of get caught up in, in, in how statistically good they are, statistically great. Um, you know, and and then again, we have to we have to execute and go play against a, a very good team. That's rightfully so that they, um, you know, they've they've earned those numbers, and it's it's impressive. And I just want to make sure that you know we focus on on what our uh, plan is and, and how we need to try to play the game. I mean, they're plus nine a turnover margin after five games. You know, averaging thirty four points, giving up twelve, and you know, number three in red zone, and, or three and third down, first in the red zone on defense. So. Uh, it's going to be a huge challenge. Mike, I know you want the consist consistency and approach for each game, but when you were a player, was there a different feel when you play these prime time Monday night games for the you know the whole league's watching you? Mm, maybe early on, and we probably played, um, you know, more than normal. You know, once once things were going so. Um, just making sure that you're sound and you know not not trying to do too much, I guess, and just you know doing your job, you know doing your job instead of trying to go outside of you know, maybe the defense or what you should be doing. You know, it's always it's just trying to make a play, and we just would like it to be a good one. Sorry, John, go ahead. Uh, one or two things you think you guys are doing better in uh, bringing that third down number down from from last season. Um, probably covering better and, and rushing better. Coach, for you, a week like this, do you want to give him? I, John just chuckles when he doesn't like the answers, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. And I don't know how else to answer it. You know what I mean? Th th those, are, those are the two elements that we talk about all the time, <laughs> covering better and rushing better. Um, so hopefully we can continue to do that, John. Uh, a week like this, does it really help to have just one extra day for the recovery process? I think probably that's where we're at now with this football team. I meant, you know, as many guys is going to be on the injury report that um, comes out. I mean, that's some um, more time that we can get to try to get guys healthy uh, to, to play against a physical football team. You know, we, we did that last week, and now we're going to have to play against an even more physical team with, with the Bills. Sorry, AJ mentioned uh, maybe some limitations within playing based based on his his condition. When you have two receivers coming back with hamstrings, is there is there a way to to monitor and and ensure that do your best to ensure that it doesn't get reaggravated? Uh, I mean, it's NFL wide receivers. I mean, there's this level of expectation that you're going to have to to run. So I'm not sure what limitations he's referring to. Snap count last week, and he said he didn't expect I, to be. You know, I, you know that those, those, these are all things that are new to me. We take out the guys when they're when they're tired, and we have to focus on our conditioning. And um, you know, so you know, we we want our best players in there as much as they can be in there. That's that's usually good for the team. One of the sell packages that you've had, Danico on the edge, but when he and Jeffrey have both been on the interior, how much have they complemented each other's play? They, you know, I mean, they've been disruptive. I think there's some times in, um, you know, Seattle and, you know, different times that they're working in there together. They, they, they've been well, working together since training camp, seem to have a good relationship, a, a very good relationship, um, you know, to try to, you know, work some games in there and work some stunts. And hopefully, 
you know, be disruptive on the inside. One's more of a power guy. One's got a little bit more, you know, length. Sorry, Jimmy. You, like, you talk about health. I mean, you like where you're going, at least trending in the right direction at receiver. I mean, who know, AJ have good weeks. Now Marcus back in the flow a little bit more. How much will that help the offense if you can consistently have the same guys in there week after week? Well, it'll help the entire team that, you know, we feel like we're getting our – anytime that we can get guys back or what we feel like are our um, best players, you know, that, that would be great. It would be wonderful. You know, it's the last day that we get access to you and there's still one more day of practice. Is there anybody that you're ruling out for Monday night or – on a Thursday? No. How is, how is as far it's a there? Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know he missed the one day with the illness, but just as far as his body of work this week, how has it been? Uh, but, you know, I mean, good. It, again, it's just there's some setbacks there with, you know, unfortunately dealing with uh, with an illness. Um, so I'm just trying to get, you know, weight back and, you know, strength. And, you know, there's a lot of things that go into that. But I think, it, you know, mentally he's been – been sharp and was able to get some work in today and we'll get some uh, tomorrow. Like that game against the Bills was so strange last year in the build-up and unprecedented not practicing and all that. Number one, why do you think you guys played so well that night and did you take anything from that moving forward in the weird preparation that was kind of forced on you? Uh, I, mean, I think the players just really um, – Took advantage of the opportunities, you know. I mean, they they threw us a couple, you know, one one off the receiver's hands. We caught it. We scored a lot of short fields, you know. When you're able to get three turnovers and and not have any on offense, and then get another one on kickoff and a short field, like I think you take away that that's the the, the magnitude that turnovers can have on on a game. Uh, whether it's statistically they had more yards or they did that. Um, you know, and as far as the preparation, I think it's just, you know, there was a lot of focus, I felt like. You know, I think that there was a, you know, an unknown, but I think that there was a great deal of focus um, in how we had to handle and how we had to prepare for that situation.